In this tutorial, we are going to go through number bonds to 10. Number bonds to 10. Now this is very important for all children to know. If you can understand all of these, then mental arithmetic later on becomes a lot simpler. So how do we work out the number bonds? Firstly, what I'm going to do is to write the numbers from 0 to 10 on the left hand side. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, in another column, I'm going to write the same numbers but in reverse order. So we're going to start at 10. Then we're going to write 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So here all we've done is written the numbers from 0 to 10, and here we've written them from 10 down to 0. Now, the number bonds to 10 means which two numbers when added together make 10 and this is why we have written it like this let's join each of the numbers from left to right 0 plus 10 equals 10 1 and 9 makes 10 2 and 8 makes 10 3 and 7 makes 10 4 and 6 makes 10 5 and 5 makes 10. 6 and 4 makes 10. 7 and 3 makes 10. 8 and 2 makes 10. 9 and 1 makes 10. And the last one, 10 plus 0 makes 10. So any of these two numbers, when added together, make 10. Let me get another piece of paper here. Let's suppose you've got the number 4. Which number added to 4 makes 10? Well, let's take the paper across here. It's 6. What if you have the number 7? Here we go. It's 7 plus 3 makes 10. Let's work through a few examples. Four plus what number makes ten? We can say four plus something equals ten. Now, what do you think the something is? Let's look on our on our chart on the left. We go down here. We find the number four, which is the same as this number four. We go across, and it is six. 4 plus 6 equals 10. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Let's try another plus question. 7 plus something equals 10. 7 plus something equals 10. On the left hand side, let's go all the way down to find number 7. What number added to 7 gives 10? It is 3. That's right, 3. 7 plus 3 equals 10. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? How about if we look at a couple of minus questions? Let's do this. 10 minus what number equals 2? 10 minus something equals 2. In this case, what we do is, we look at the last number, 2, come down here on the left hand side, 2, we go across, it is 8. 10 minus 8 equals 2. 10 minus 8 equals 2. Let's try one more. 
10 minus something equals 5. 10 minus something equals 5. Now, do you remember what we have to do? Look at the last number there, 5. We go all the way down and there it is. We go across and it is 5. 10 minus 5 equals 5. The key to doing number bonds is to make sure that we write them from 0 to 10 and then from 10 to 0. When we are answering the questions, just look at the number which is not a 10. In this case, it was a 4. 4 plus something equals 10. So we find 4, the other number must be 6. For a minus question, 10, the only other number we had was 2. If we go down to 2, it had to be 8. 10 minus 8 equals 2. Now once you have learned how to do this by writing, you should really do everything you can to memorize these numbers. Just picture this in your head. The teacher says, what number added to 2 makes 10? You should know straight away, it's 8. What number added to 6 makes 10? It is 4. What number added to 0 makes 10? It is 10. It's as simple as that. And that is number bonds to 10.